G'day, I'm out on the reef today myself. It's a bit lively out here today. There's a bit of a swell running and there's waves breaking everywhere. Um, the channel, I'd like to sit over here a bit more, but there's been a few waves coming through. So I'm sitting here in, uh, in a bit deeper water. I'm sitting in nine meters here. So I'm, I know I'm safe. And there's a flat platform reef behind me that's breaking the waves. I know I'm safe here. Plan today is to try to target some kings. Firstly, and if I can't get the kings, I haven't really got the kingfish unlocked, so I'm not sure what times of year they're here and what times of year they're not. So um, we'll give it a crack, and if they're not here, then I'll target some skippy or um, see what else we can do. But we'll get a few casts in and see if we can scare a couple up. Oh, see what I mean? How they're breaking through the channel there? That's not cool. Quite intimidating, but I know it's going to peter out before it gets to me here. I'm starting off with a berserker. This is a berserker, 40 gram plug. Um, send it, they call it, from berserker. So I'm going to prospect with this. The good thing with this is it casts really well and you can prospect a lot of water with it. So I'll start off with this and see what happens, but um, I might move to a poppers. I'll have a few casts with this and then I'll tie on a popper and have a few casts with that and see. Sometimes a popper really, the splashing really gets their attention from a distance. But I don't know today with all this with all this wave action, the popper might not be loud enough to overcome all this wave action. Well, I've actually driven through that channel plenty of times when the swell's down a bit. I don't know if I'd like to do it today. Basically, I'm just splaying cast all over the place. You don't know where they could be. The kings sort of move around a lot with a bait. If they're here, they move around a lot with the bait. So you just got to spray your cast all the way around and just keep working around. And see if you can find them. Sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes there's a lot of birds around and the birds will show you where they are because the birds will be feeding on the bait and the kings are generally feeding on the bait too. Um, it might still be a little bit early for the birds yet, but... Always keep your eyes open when you're out in these sort of zones. A, you want to make sure your boat's not going anywhere because it's a pretty dynamic zone and if your boat drifts, you, you want to know about it before you drift in trouble. And B, you just never know what you might see. Keep your eyes open for birds feeding, keep your eyes open for bait fish flying out of the water. Um, it's not uncommon to see kingfish in the faces of the waves. Um, we've even seen them just sunbaking on the surface over here, so always keep your eyes open. It's pretty chilly this morning. Oh, those waves are huge and intimidating. That's a big one. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I'm okay here, but far out, that was pretty scary. That one just broke out the whole channel. I was about to start the motor and run then. But I said, no, no, back yourself in. You know you're in deeper water. You know it's going to peter out. I backed myself in and I was fine, but for a second there, I thought that one was coming through. We're on the lead up to the high tide. There's like about another hour and a bit towards high tide, which is absolutely perfect for chasing these fish in this Oh, 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 yep, they're there. The kings are right there. Look at that. They just followed that in. Wow. Why did they not hit that? Oh, they're all over it. They're all over it. They just won't hit it. Go, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, no. Wow. I'm not rigged up. This is supposed to be my popper rod, but it's got a soft plastic on. I'll just plonk that out. See if I can't scare one up on a soft plastic. They obviously don't want that berserker 
they had every chance of eating that and they obviously didn't really want it so oh yeah see straight away look at that they're really funny fish these kings some lures they just follow and follow and follow and they just won't commit to and then others like this soft plastic i just chucked it in there and they smacked it straight away Oh geez, they fight hard. I've got 40 pound string on this and it's tight, like pretty tight. Oh, just when you think you're gonna land him, you're not. get his head up. No, not this time either. Wow. I forgot how hard these guys go. And there you go. <laughs> Look at that. That was like my third or fourth cast. Kingfish. He's perfect. He goes. Boom, 65 centimetres. He's 65 centimetres. Kingfish only need to be 60 to be legal, so he's a legal fish. Beautiful, got that little soft plastic in his mouth. I'll take this guy. And then um, sometimes if you put one back, they scare the rest of the school and then they won't bite anymore. Awesome fish, stoked. Wow, so that was awesome. That was maybe, I think, my fifth cast. I had a couple, and then I saw them following that berserker snap. Oh, they followed that berserker, send it in. They didn't want to eat that. I cast it again, they didn't want to eat it. I threw out the soft plastic, and they were all over it. So like, I think, yeah, pretty much five casts, and I was in. Um, it's pretty much how they work, the kings. If they're in the area, you'll generally get them straight away Normally I'd put a bit of barely in the water and try to keep them hanging around, but I haven't even got a chance to do that yet. I was just having a couple of exploratory casts to see if they were in the area. Seems that they are. I'm going to leave this just here for a second, and I will get some barely out. Just got a couple of muleys, a handful of muleys. I'm just going to stick them in the pot. I'm not too fussed about having a huge trail or anything going, it's just a bit of smell, so if they come around, they might hang around a bit longer. All right. <laughs> I've got a fish, I'm happy. Got a feed, so it's out with the fly rod. I want to get one of these guys on fly if I can, just because it's a really stupid thing to do. So I got the little, again, the little fly, flash of fly by Cam Watson. I'm actually gonna spice it up with a bit of scent here. I got some strikers lure scent. I'm just gonna smear a bit of that on there so it smells nice. Get it smelling like a fish air. So I'm gonna cast this out, strip some line, because if you've ever tried to use fly line, if you've used fly line when it's dry, it doesn't really um, slip through the guides too well. So you've got to strip a bit out, get a few casts in, get the, get the line wet, so it casts nice. See that, it just doesn't do anything when it's dry. And I'll get that fly out there. And then I'll strip it back in and have it ready. So if I can get them in with the, I'll try to get them in with the soft plastic and then I'll whip the fly out straight away. Or should I just fish with the fly? I think I'll just fish with the fly. Yeah, let's just fish with the fly. 
I'm going to pull the soft plastic in. Indecisive much, Scotty? So I can see them all in the barely trial here. I'm going to chuck in a handful of cubes. Boom, boom. I'm going to let them drift back a little bit. And then old man Mr. Fly here. If I'm not standing on the fly line, which I probably am. Old man Fly can go out there. I'll just let that waft down a bit with the cubies and see what happens. Prepare for chaos. Again, some people don't learn their lesson. The boat's sitting at a really awkward angle for me here. I'm going to have to cast across the back of the boat, but that's all right. I've got that, I hope. Stripping this fly back gently. We've got a fish in this corner. There's some really big waves coming through there. It's quite intimidating. Oh, here we go. What's that? Got something. Is he still there? Yeah. I'm not sure if this is a kingfish or a big skippy. Here we go. Oh, the old one to one ratio is just so slow. What have I got here? If it's a king, it's not a very big one. Oh, oh you wouldn't read about it. Is that a snapper? Oh, the kingfish are there. Look at that guy. Look at that. Pink snapper on fly. <laughs> now we're not allowed to take these guys. He's undersized anyway. Woo. Pink snapper on fly. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Wasn't the king I was looking for, but so be it. All right, I'm gonna get another handful of cubes. And see if I, oh, I can hear birds, where's that? Get another handful of cubes in the water here and see if I can get the kings back to the back of the boat. Oh, I can see the kings in the face of the wave out there. Just out of casting distance for this fly rod. Oh, hang on. Or is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, solid fish, solid fish. Turn around, you can't go to the reef, buddy. Oh. Wow, that was just on the sink. Oh, oh, knuckles. Oh, what? All right, that's fly rod snapped. Fly line gone. <laughs> I just officially got beaten up. Be careful what you wish for. That was a stupid thing to do. Wow, that was a big one. 
Sometimes there's bigger ones and that was probably one of them. And I just got told. Wow. I sort of, I probably went a little bit too hard on that one. I just, um, yeah, I was trying to palm the spool stopping it, but it's going for that reef over there. And if it got there, it was going to do me anyway. So far out. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Oh, I just got told. Got absolutely told. And I just snapped another fly rod. I can't believe it. That's like my third or fourth fly rod I've broken now. Wow, <laughs> I'm just, seems like there's some bigger models in. <laughs> oh wow, I just saw a real big one just there. Here we go. Oh, you just gotta go, I've, I've got no choice but go really hard on the drag because that reef is like right there. If I don't stop them quick, they're gonna do me over there. Oh, wow. I don't even think this is that big a fish. What is this? This is a snapper. Are you joking? Oh, he just busted me off. That was a pink snapper. That was probably about a 65 centimeter pinky. <laughs> wow, who would have thought this is a snapper spot? Righto, I moved up. I'm gonna put this big sick bait on. I'm up on the 50 pound outfit now. I'm gonna try this big stick bait. I always wanted to catch something on this big stick, so the beauty of this is also I can cast it right out there where I want it to go to. Just check my drag. If I check it, I mean crank it right up. Let's just see what happens if I can scare one up on this big stick bait, that'll be awesome. I can't believe I got that smoked on fly, that's pathetic. <laughs> you should have known that was coming, Scott, you're an idiot. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, they were all over it then. Yeah, there's a big boy there. He was all over it. That's ridiculous, Scotty. You can't expect to land these fish on fly. I don't even know what you're playing with, why you're playing that game. Wow, this popper looks awesome in the water. Oh, I'm seeing so many fish in the face of those waves. Oh, they're following it, they're following it. Oh, I wish I had someone here with me and I'd get the drone up and show you this. This is awesome. The whole school just comes in and follows and follows and they just won't commit. I know this one is quite big though, so... I kind of understand why they wouldn't eat this one because it is quite big. I feel like they might eat it though, if I just scare them up enough. Just takes one to have a shot. Wow, look at those waves. Oh, there's a big, there's some big ones there. Wow. There's some really big fish there, eh? Really big fish. Surely one of them's got to hit it. They look like they're in a real feeding mood too because of the way this swell's breaking and the, the tide's on. 
they just seem to be in a real good feeding mood which is oh big boy big boy oh they're boiling on it oh come on just eat it Oh no, oh go, go, that was a hit. Oh! Oh no! One of them committed but just didn't hook up. There's some big fish there, eh? There's some good quality fish. They're just not committing to this. Maybe it's just that little bit too big for them. I don't know. They're swirling all over. Oh, can you see them? I know, I've just switched out to a popper. They just won't, they just don't want to commit to that big stick bait. So I'll put a popper on and just try it. Maybe a slightly different action might fire them up. I don't know. We'll keep trying, just keep different lures and just see what happens. Sometimes a popper really gets them fired up because that's splashing across the top side. Oh wow, poppers do look really good. Oh yes, first cast, look at that. Commit. That's all it took. They just. I think they were getting too good a look at that stick bait. Oh, here we go. I think they were getting too good a look at that stick bait. And they could see that 80 pound leader and they were just having too good a look. That popper just moving fast across the top. Oh, all right. I'm in with a chance now because I'm on 50 pound gear this time. Even then, I'm not going to count my chickens because these guys are just nasty. I don't know if you guys have caught kingfish before, but they would literally pull a Samson fish backwards. Oh, and in close quarters to the reef like this, they're pretty serious. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Oh, wow, I just cut it. Oh, the other guys are having a go at him. There's a big school of them here. Oh! Can you guys see them in the water there? How sick does that look? Yeah. I'm gonna have to net this guy. That's not gonna be easy on my own. Not gonna be easy on my own. I can't get him in the net. Oh, he's too big for the net. Shit. Now I've got problems. Oh, he's in, he's in. Oh. Oh. That was hectic. All right. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Calm down. I'm happy with that. That's a solid fish. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's an awesome fish. This guy can go back. Yeah, so chuffed. Woo. I'm sweating. That was hard work. The old popper got the job done. Oh, is there anything more exciting than a top water eat? That's so good.
I'm gonna have another cast and then I'll see. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, it's no wonder I didn't stand a chance on the fly rod. Fish like that. You got no hope on fly gear. That's just even ridiculous thinking that you're gonna have a shot at that. That's just silliness, Scott. Oh, and all the times I've come here, like before I was casting around that berserker plug when I first got here, on 20 pound gear, like, honestly, you're not gonna stop a fish like that on 20 pound gear in, these, in this sort of country anyway. In deeper water, maybe. In this sort of country, you gotta get real lucky. Um, I reckon 30 is the minimum here. And even on the 50 there, I was found wanting a bit. That is awesome. And the surface strikes are just amazingly cool to see. When you see a whole pack of fish come up behind your lure, that's just awesome. So I said at the beginning of this video, oh, that's a big one. <laughs> I said at the beginning of this video, I wasn't sure about the kings and what time of year they work the best. And oh, he's right there. Can you guys see this? Can you see that? I'm not sure what time of the year the kings go the best. I actually thought it was like spring into the summer, but maybe it's just the swell and the conditions that have got them fired up today. But I feel like they're around these reefs most of the year. It's just a matter of getting them to feed and finding, locating them. I think today I'm just getting lucky because, oh wow. They're not committing on this popper now. I think they've learned their lesson on the popper. I might have to switch it out for something else. Yeah, I think today with this big swell running and they're just heading into the high tide now, I think they're just in a real good feeding pattern and I've kind of scored at the, at the right time, but I've been here plenty of times and just had none when I've seen them and I know they're here, but I just can't get one to bite or baits or anything. Today, they're definitely here. Right, I'm gonna swap this popper out and just try something different because I already had this little stick baity thing here. I had this stick bait thing here, I don't even know what it is. It's from eBay, some cheap ass thing. It's got really shit hooks on it. So there's every chance I'm gonna straighten the hook if I don't get one anyway, but I'm just gonna change it out because they seem like they're wary of that popper now. Looks like they've learnt their lesson on it. All right, shitty eBay stick bait, let's go. <laughs> These stick baits actually, I think I paid like $4.95 each for them. They actually cast really good. The only problem with them is the hooks. They got a really good action and they cast really good. The only problem is they just got cheap shitty hooks on them. But I've actually caught on these before. They're actually not a bad little, they got a good action in the water. See if they make a liar out of me. Oh, didn't get any love that cast. Oh, let's sink a bit. Oh, 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 yep. Something on here. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Something hit it. Maybe he's just not very big. Oh, but that one is. <laughs> Oh, it's a skippy. <laughs> the old 50 pound tackle did. <laughs> Mr. Skippy didn't, didn't stand a chance against 50 pound. <laughs> That was a big fish that followed him in though. I don't know if that, I don't know what shows on the head cam and what doesn't. But that was a big fish that followed him for sure. Oh, it hits again. Come on. Oh, what? The skippy is smashing this on the surface. 
Good lure. Whoa, hectic. That's a good one. See what I mean? When you when you're anchored up in places like this, you got to really know what you're doing. This is not for the faint-hearted, and it's not for novice people. You got to know where you are, and you got to know your anchor's going to hold. I know that boomer is not going anywhere. I know this boat can take a bit of whitewash side on, so I'm not too stressed about that. But you've got to keep your eye on it. The minute I feel like that anchor's moving, I'm out of here because I don't want to be involved with what's going on over there. Get another cast out here. I'm going to move soon anyway because it's starting to get a little uncomfortable. What I should have done was put that skippy out as a life bait. But I'm here to catch on lures, not on life baits. But that skippy would have got absolutely destroyed, I reckon. That big boy was having a good old look at him. So just vary your retrieves. I did some straight retrieves, there's some fast ones. Now I'm just doing some big sweepy retrieves. You just don't know what they want to eat, what they're on, what they're on on the day. Seems like they're gone, I haven't seen them for a little while. This is how they go sometimes, they feed, they feed, they feed, and then they just disappear. And you can't work out why. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, a bit of seaweed. Yeah, they just disappear and then it's really strange because they're here and they're feeding and you think it's on and then just suddenly boom and they're gone and they just move on to the next. Move on to the next good thing, I guess. I think they wise up pretty quick as well. Once you release a couple of fish, I feel like they wise up pretty fast, the kings. Um, keeping a fish is alright, but once you release them, I think it kind of spooks the rest of the school sometimes. So that's alright, I'm going to have a few more casts and then I'll move, move along a little bit more and see if we can find another school. There's always lots of different schools, so that's the beauty. If one school shuts down, you can move along and see if you can't locate another school somewhere. Yeah, they've gone dead here. Surprised they're not hitting that. Really surprised. Have a look at this. So the fish are still here. I, I'm seeing them all the time. They keep following, following, but they just won't commit. It does happen sometimes. Once you release one fish, especially if it's one of the bigger ones of the school, the rest of them get wise and they just won't hit anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move around. Um, some of these swells are starting to get a bit closer now too. The tide's coming up and there's a lot more water coming over the top here. So it's probably a good time to move anyway. Um, I'm going to move around and see if I can't locate them somewhere else, find a different school that isn't so spooky and um, have a crack there. So stay with me, see what we can come up with. I've cruised around a bit, cruised around a bit, pepper and cast all the way along here through these reefs. It's really tricky when you're on your own, especially when the swell is up like today. You really need someone driving the boat and someone casting. It's kind of hard on my own. So um, I'm going to give it a miss. Over there was okay where I was before I was anchored up, but even that was probably... Um, I felt safe. I felt fine. I felt safe with it, but it did look intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I've got the fish I came for anyway. I'm happy. If you like my videos, um, do us a favor, put a subscribe, put a like, put a comment down below if you like this style of video. If you want us to keep doing this, if you've got any other ideas you'd like us to do, put them down in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching, it really does mean a lot to me and it really motivates me to get out and try harder to get some good content for you guys. <clears throat> I was going to put the drone up today as well, but it's just too choppy and I just don't think it's going to look that good, so I won't even bother with that. If you like the videos, stay tuned and I'll see you guys all in the next episode.